Hello, I'm Austin. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. So wonderful to have you. Very thankful you clicked. Welcome back. If you've been here before, we're building something and I love that for both of us. About a month ago, I decided that I was going to challenge myself. And that challenge involved a few things. Believing in myself, getting clarity on my dreams, taking action, and giving a shit. And the challenge is over. And I'm gonna tell you how it went. The good, the bad, the truth. Okay, the first part of the challenge was to believe, to have full belief in myself. I can say I feel like I upheld that part of the challenge. That was a win for me. I moved through this process of making, finishing my EP and releasing it without some of my old habits and mindsets weighing me down. To fill you in on what those were, I tended to let insecurity really overwhelm me in the process, in the entire process actually. I tended to let insecurity just tank me and not allow me to get where I wanted to go because I spent a lot of time and energy worrying that the music wasn't good enough, that I wasn't good enough. Just like, it's amazing how much energy you can expel on something that just like, does not benefit you at all. Not even a little bit. And I decided not to do that this time. That was part of the challenge. And I can say I sort of just let myself ride. I was like, you know what? It's me and you, boo. It's me and me. I didn't waste my time with those thoughts. I'd let myself be and let myself focus on the task at hand. And that part was really wonderful, especially thinking about it now in retrospect. I can feel thankful to myself for not allowing me to get caught up in that same cycle and whirlwind. Ironically, the song I released was about breaking patterns or recognizing your patterns and realizing you're the problem. So that's what we did. <laughs> The second part was about getting clear about what I wanted. This time around, I needed a lot of clarity about where I wanted to go because I was putting in a lot of energy and effort into making the music, but I wasn't thinking about next steps very much, which actually is something that I'm still working on right now. But I did need to make a vision board to get really clear on where I wanted to be, which we did together. I think I made a video about that. I'm pretty sure I did. I'll link back to it. What I have learned over this challenge period from March 11th to April 11th was how consistently you have to continue reminding yourself about what you want. In that video where I told you about the challenge to begin with, I said that it's really easy to muddle and mix up other people's ideas of what they want and what success looks like to them with your own, how simple that is. And that's something you have to constantly reinforce with yourself or just check in with yourself about is, am I moving from my own personal desires or have I seen something recently that looks like something I want and now I'm headed in that direction? This challenge, what I noticed about myself was that while I was very focused on my work, which was wonderful, I was probably more focused than ever. It is also a constant like stay clear about your vision and your wants and your desires and just don't muddle or mix anything that doesn't belong to you. So the third and probably most important part of the challenge was action. Of course, the most important, important part of the challenge. Like, what's a challenge with no action? And for me, that meant plant-based diet, drinking a lot of water, supposed to be working out more, and being consistent about showing up to my music and my career. Here's where it gets good, bad, and ugly and I'm going to give you the truth. First, the plant-based aspect. Honestly, that went really well for the first three weeks. And in week four, we tanked a little bit. Okay. Well, let me go back to week one. We started out really strong. I have to say I'm pretty excited about what plant-based for us looked like. So many vegetables, obviously. I do think we could have eaten more fruit. I think that would have been a nice addition uh, just for like the sweetness factor, but it was, we, we really run in. We did it. There was, we did it. We try, I tried to do more of the sharing of the labor in terms of cooking this time around. I mentioned in the other video that my girlfriend did like all of the cooking the first time we did this, but this time I tried to be more intentional about having that not be the case. I guess we'll have to ask her if she thinks I did that or not. I'll report back later. My mental clarity was on 11. That was both really positive and kind of negative. Raw dog in reality is not for the faint of heart. I think we reach for food more often than not because of the additives in, a, in it, especially in the United States. 
and it creates its own brain fog, which feels like a hug sometimes. And I didn't have that. The brain fog was, was pretty gone, which was great. But also, yeah, you just have added mental awareness and the world blows. Like it, there's just so much bad stuff going on. And I'm thankful to be a more mentally aware participant in everything happening in the world. But also, you know, your disassociation techniques, they just don't hit the way they used to when you actually start taking care of yourself. It's just disassociation is not an option the way that it used to be. And I'm thankful for that. And also in full transparency, sometimes really miss just disassociating. Like ignorance is bliss, but it's also ignorant. So take from that what you will. I'm sure other people care about this. I will say we lost a few pounds. I wasn't really doing it with that intention in mind. Obviously, I knew there'd be added benefits of eating a plant-based diet. And so I was aware of them and excited about them, but it wasn't the motivating factor to doing it. I think I mentioned this in the one-week follow-up video. Something that I never recovered from this time around was that I was I was pretty tired the whole time. And I'm not really sure what I could have done differently. And if someone else knows what I could have done differently, I would love to know. But my fatigue levels were quite present. But actually, there is one thing I could have done differently, and that is I could have had a better sleep schedule. And this kind of leads into the issue with week four. Week four, we had people come visit, and we also made the music video. And both of those things combined, yeah, we went a little lackadaisical on the rules. I also had a party for my release of the EP, which was very fun, but it was not, definitely not a fully plant-based. It was not plant-based at all. Plants averted. And then because also we were staying up late making the music video, which actually that week we, never mind, that week was like very plant-based. But having visitors come and interacting with other people is mostly when we kind of flubbed on the follow-through in terms of plant-based eating. And that was very much all at the very end. So I think a lesson for myself is just maintaining my boundaries for me more thoroughly, which is an interesting to, thing to learn in this process. It's interesting what came up in doing the challenge, what I thought would be an issue and what wasn't, and what I didn't think would be an issue but was. But in retrospect, overall, I, I feel like we did pretty well with it. <laughs> if I'm looking back over it, I'm like, huh, we pretty, pretty, did pretty well. Felt good, had the mental clarity I was looking for, but I was definitely a sleepy little bee. Last week, was a trial and a tribulation. You already know if you saw the video. Uh, Mercury retrograde really got me. The eclipse got me. But we're back. We're doing better than ever. That's great. I hope we're doing better than ever by the time this goes up. Ended up having press about the EP, which was really exciting. It's in Color Block Magazine. I'll link it down below. It was a really wonderful interview that I had a great time doing. Would love for you to check it out. Did our first brand collab of the year with Your Body. That's up on there. Instagram and my TikTok. Now it's just about pushing forward with promoting it, which I'm not good at, but I'm here to ask you to listen to it. Listen to the UP, Bad Girls Cry once again. Thank you so much. The last part of the challenge was to care, to be intentional about caring and sort of an existential ask. But I feel like I've been learning more and more about care. Ooh, that might not be a good look. I feel like I've been learning or internalizing concepts of care more recently. And I'm a big miller over. Like I'm a big thinker. And I'm not a great moving thought to action person. My love language is quality time. I'm thinking about you. I will be thinking. Yeah, the action part is still tricky for me. I've I have definitely still have some places to grow in terms of being action oriented in how I show care and caring for myself and caring for the people I, I care about. There are some spaces in which I've been able to grow that muscle a bit more recently, and that's been really wonderful. Having the EP release party was really big for me. I know I said in the last video that having people show up for me felt very sweet and also sort of new in this city that I'm in. It was just a really lovely experience. And also learning, and I said in that video about how, you know, you can't really give care properly without getting it. If that makes sense, I didn't say it eloquently, but the person on TikTok did about how not accepting support is anti community. And I feel like I've been learning that a lot recently and understanding what support looks like and that it's going to look different for every person that gives it to you. And that also you 
need to adjust how you care for other people. I think I've always accepted that I am who I am and so I can offer these things. And I, that's just true, but also learning to adjust my giving style to other people's receiving style is something that I've been milling over and learning and need to work on acting on. And another part of caring in the challenge was about just caring for myself and my goals and being consistent in them. And I feel like I've been doing that. I feel like I've shown up for myself more in the last month than I have than I do usually. And now that the challenge is over, moving forward, the things I want to maintain are all the things that I learned that I struggled with over the last month. Having better boundaries around literally everything, but you know, yeah, having better boundaries, need those. The balance factor, scheduling and adjusting, giving and receiving care were my biggest takeaways from this experience. Yeah. Overall, I'd say it was really wonderful. And I think also even making this video, it feels weird to say it was because it doesn't feel like it's over. The whole purpose of this was to adjust some patterns. I will say, because in the last week, we kind of started to drift off, I noticed myself picking up the patterns I had before we did the challenge. Like for the EP release party, it was on my Nana's birthday. She passed a few years ago, but she was obsessed with ice cream. Ice cream is like a touchstone in my family, which is really funny and pretty cute. And so I had ice cream at the party. I started having ice cream kind of regularly and I could tell it was connected to eating emotionally, which I used to have sus feelings about. And now I'm just starting to own the fact that that is something that I do. I was trying to avoid that for a long time. That's a different video for a different day. Anyway, but I just started to notice I was just reaching for it because it was easy. And the intention factor was something that I liked about being plant-based. But then when we started to drift away from it or just sort of waver from the plan, I was surprised by how quickly you can kind of just fall back into eating whatever's around and not thinking about it. and. I think that's also an overall character trait I have of myself. I can do a lot of things without thinking it through, just without moving with full intention or thinking widely about a situation. I'm not expressing this well because I do a lot of thinking. I'm a Libra moon. My thoughts are constant. This process really showed me how my little habits stack up and create negative change. Overall, I want to be more assertive about moving in a way that benefits me positively, which means being more consistent in my little adjustments. Little things add up to big things. Da 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 da. Well, yeah, I think that is everything for this video. That was the challenge. That's how it went. That's what I got to say. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I love when you like and I love when you subscribe and I love when you comment. Always my favorite thing. Thanks so much for being here and I will talk to you soon. Bye.